Okay, today I'm going to to explain few of the past year question of the statistic. Okay, this statistic is for MX means it's not for the modern max and this is like from four syllabus chapter seven and actually what is the difference between mx and modern max is normally in mx the statistic they will add the few more things like variance and standard durations which is this kind of of this kind of thing you you seldom got chance to see in the modern max okay let's start on the first question Okay, the first question here mentioned a set of positive integer consists of 2, 5 and m. And then he says the variance of the sets of the integer is 14. So we know, okay, so we just write out the information is given here. He given us the variance will equal to 14. Okay. And then he said a set of positive in integer means all the numbers here will be positive in integer. When you see positive integer means you cannot get the negative value here. And then the words integer mean you cannot get value like decimal and fraction. Let's say m is impossible to get like 2 over 5 or, or 1 over 4.3 or 1.43 or something like that means integers is something like the f uh, the complete number like 2, 5, 9, 7, 3 all is the integer okay positive integer means you cannot get negative you cannot get fraction and you cannot get the decimal place number okay so let's start to do this question so before you start to do this question you have to know this one is what we so called ungrouped data Ungroup data, then we have the formula for ungroup data, especially for variance. It will a little bit uh, different with the group data. Okay, for variance, okay, so first I explain this one is the symbol for variance. Okay, so the variance formula will be, okay, variance formula will be, okay, sum of x square divided by n and then minus sum of x divided by n and then the whole thing you square it okay okay then what is the meaning by sum of x square mean you plus all the number all the number square let's say sum of x square in here means you have to plus 2 square 5 square plus m square this is what we call sum of x square okay divide by n m means how many that how many data we have here we have 2 5 and m actually we got 3 data so divide by 3 and then minus sum of x means actually you sum of x just 2 plus 5 plus m divide by n and then square and then square for whole thing then you can get variance okay this formula is for ungrouped data so if you want a formula for for group data okay this is something extra and this is something not related to this chapter and then i just want to show you what what is the difference between group data and ungrouped data if for group data group data you will got sum of fx square divided by sum of f minus sum of fx divided by sum of f and then square for whole thing okay this one is for group theta okay what's in group theta group theta means when you solve those questions you will see he, 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 uh, the table he will give you a table and then the table there will have the frequency will have the midpoint then you have to frequency multiple midpoint but f stand for frequency x stand for midpoint uh, this one is for group theta okay now this kind of question we call ungrouped theta so let's focus back to this formula okay so you just substitute everything here i think you can find the values of m so let's substitute here okay, first we got variance equal to 14 so variance will equal to 14 okay and then sum of 
x square so we plus all the x square we got 2 square and then plus 5 square plus m square divided by 3 and then we minus sum of x 2 plus 5 plus m divided by 3 and then you square the whole thing okay I mean the whole thing here will equal to 14 okay and then okay I continue to do here so I just simplified this one I will got 14 will equal to 2 square we got 4 5 square we got 25 25 means 25 plus 4 we got 29 okay this this is 29 plus m square divided by 3 and then minus here okay minus 2 plus 5 we got 7 7 plus m divided by 3 square okay now here is the key point because a lot of students will make mistake here because like this one 7 plus m square most of the student will write 49 49 plus m square because square for everything you most of the students will write 49 plus m square divided by 9 then you have got it wrong why because above here actually this one is is for 7 plus m square divided by 3 square okay means what 7 plus m square actually will mean 7 plus m multiple 7 plus m so this one you must be very be careful this is this is together one means you got a blanket you cannot s solve it like, like like this one make me straight away square it. this one you cannot solve it like seven square and m square so you have to put a blanket because if you put the blanket what what value you got for top here top here actually you have got 49 plus 14 m plus m square mean you expand mean you expand this uh, this square here okay so okay I just write everything here one more time so we have got 14 will equal to 29 plus m square divided by 3 minus 40 49 plus 14 m plus m square divided by 9 okay okay then you have to solve this equation so when you solve the equation you will see the fraction so what what i will do is the easiest way i multiple 9 for everything i multiple 9 for 14 i multiple 9 for this one and multiple 9 for this one then i can straight away uh eliminate the 9 here okay so let's see 14 we multiple 9 we will got 1 2 6 so 1 2 6 okay will equal to okay this one if you multiple 9 me after we simplify we still got 3 multiple 29 plus m square and then here when we multiple 9 for everything means we only left minus 49 plus 14 m plus m square and then we just simplify here because you got m square you got m you got number you know this one you have to factorize later so so yes so see what i can do here okay so i will got okay one more step so this one 3 multiple 29 we got 3 multiple 9 is 27 3 multiple 6 so it is 87 plus 3 m square okay minus for okay minus the whole thing means what means you have to put the bracket because the negative is for everything now later we have to substitute the negative for three of these so remember when you see negative must be very be careful because sometimes you got it wrong so minus 49 minus 14 m and minus m square okay because the negative is for three of these okay then you got m square you got m you got number you have to factorize mean i move everything here and left leave here become zero okay so first i i solve three m square minus m square i got two m square okay minus 14 m 
Okay, now I got the number here. I got 87 minus 49. Okay. And then we move the 126 to this side. We've got negative 126. Mean, means we have to minus again 126. Then we've got negative 88. Okay, obviously this one we can simplify by divide 2. So m square minus 7 m minus 44. Therefore, from here we can easily know actually 44 is 11 multiple 4. So we can simplify it like put a 2 bracket. Okay, you want to get m square, m multiple m, we got m square. You want to get 44, and then middle we have to get 7m, means we have to use 11 and 4. In order to get negative 7 here, so the bigger number here I put negative, and this one will be positive. Because negative 11 multiple m, we got negative 11m, 4 multiple m, we got 4m, so negative 11m plus 4m, we got negative 7m. Make sense? So after that, I simplify, I will got m will equal to negative 4 or m will equal to 11. Okay, so uh, when you got this one, remember the question says must be positive integer. So when he say must be positive integer, so what I should do now means I only take the positive value here. So this one is negative, I don't want. So I take this one and this is the answer for M. Okay, so actually I hope this question can give you some idea how to solve this kind of question in MX paper. Okay, we let's see one more example. Okay, this one I think is very easy for you. Okay, a set of seven number have a means of nine. Okay, and then find sum of x. So, what is the formula for mean? Mean will equal to sum of x divided by n. Okay, this is also the formula for ungrouped data. Okay, so therefore, he said a set of seven number mean actually x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus until x7 means total we got seven number. So here we got information n is equal to seven. And then we, we got the means is nine. So given here, means is equal to nine. So I just substitute everything here, I can get sum of x. So since the mean will equal to nine, and he got seven number, so sum of x divided by 7 therefore sum of x will equal to 7 multiple 9 we got 63 okay so I rewrite sum of x is equal to 63 okay then I got for part A so this one is for part A okay for part B he say when a number k is added to this set and then the new means is 8.5 and then it asks you find the values of k so this one will be very simple since he say a number k will add to these sets of data means what means sum of x is means you got the new mean will equal to sum of x plus k divided by just now you will be 7 and any plus one more number means 7 plus 1 means now you got 8 number okay and then sum of x means the total you plus k correct now because the total is for 7 number here means the total here is for x1 plus x2 plus dot 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 dot, dot plus until x7 you will got 67 so if you understand about this one then you can straight away do we got next new means is what 8.5 so I write here so I got 8.5 is the new mean and then sum of x here we got 63 okay and then plus k okay then divide by 7 plus 1 we got 8 so I just solve this equation so 63 plus k will equal to okay, 8 multiple 8.5 8 multiple 8.5 we will got 68 Go 68 later you have to find k move the 63 to this side will be minus 63 so we will got 68 minus 63 we will got 5 therefore k will equal to 5 
is that easy? Okay, this is also a three mark question, and the just now one is also a three mark question, so obviously this one is much more easy. Okay, so let's have a look on the last example. Okay, here. He say, a group of six students have a total have a total mass of two hundred and forty kg. Okay, the sum of the square of their mass will be. 9654 kg 9654 kg and it asks you to find the means of the six student okay now you, you want to my find means okay so now what information we have in here we got we got n will equal to six because he say six student and then he is he say the total mass will equal to 240 means this is sum of x will equal to 240 and then it given here okay he given here is what he given here this one is sum okay sum of the square of the mass mean this is sum of x square will equal to 9654 okay so we almost got everything here means this is much more enough for us to do this too first you want to find means okay so means is very easy means is equal to sum of x divided by n okay so therefore i want to get mean i got sum of x is 240 and then i got means i got, I got n is 6 so means i will got 40 okay after that you want to find standard deviation standard deviation the symbol is like that okay got no square if you got square here is variance so standard deviation remember when standard deviation is var square root of variance so standard deviation always have the square root okay if without the square root is variance standard deviation always have the square root so and then the inside is totally same with the uh, variance so here this one we will got sum of x square divided by n and then minus sum of x divided by n square and from here actually you can easily know easily know that this one actually is the mean so some reference book it even write sum of x square divided by n minus mean square okay so therefore he want to find the values of the standard deviation so standard deviation will equal to okay square root of sum of f x square we got nine five uh, nine six five four divided by six minus mean square mean is 40 square so this one you just press the calculator let's see what value we can get here okay nine six five four divided by six okay we got we got one g six zero okay so here you got one six zero nine for this one minus thousand six and then square root the whole thing so this one is very obvious this one mi minus this one we got nine and then square root nine we will got three therefore the standard deviation will equal to three okay so i hope this three example can give you better pictures on how to solve the ungrouped data in the statistic for MX. Okay, thanks for watching the video.